Two area school districts announcing today that mask mandates for students and staff returning to the classroom this fall will be in place. Our Aaron Maben joining us live now in Shorewood, where the mask requirement went into effect today. Aaron. Yeah, hey, Stephanie, the Shorewood School District masking policy applies to nearly everyone indoors in all district facilities. The Shorewood School District with a return to school update announcing effective Wednesday masks will be required for everyone ages two and up indoors in all district facilities. The district says this means that all students, staff and visitors will be required to wear a mask inside regardless of vaccination status. This is a great idea. The CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics have both issued very strong statements recommending masks for return to school in the fall. Dr. Greg DeMurray is a pediatric infectious disease specialist at UW Health. The announcement comes as COVID-19 and the Delta variant spreads. Delta makes it more important to wear masks actually because we do know that Delta is more contagious. It's very contagious in children as well and masks can help prevent transmission of that variant. Tuesday evening, the Whitefish Bay School Board voted to require masks inside of schools this fall regardless of vaccination status. Everyone for and up will be required to wear a mask. We have a ways to go and now's not the time to drop the ball. So we'd have to double down on our our measures for controlling this virus. And the Shorewood School District plans to share more information on its return to school policy and procedures during their next School board meeting next week. Reporting live in Shorewood, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. All right, Aaron, thank you.